A Kids at Home. I'm Rachel, your A Kids TV host, and today is going to be so awesome. I'm so excited for you guys to join us today. So, first of all, we're going to do our worship warm up. So, go grab a piece of paper and a pencil or a marker or something to draw with, and let's get started. We're going to do a blindfold drawing. And since today is Easter, we're going to draw a bunny. So first of all, the reason why we're doing this is because today in our Bible story, it goes dark at an unexpected time during the middle of the day. You'll find out why later, but this story has an end no one ever saw coming. All right, let's get started drawing. So first you're going to draw an oval that goes horizontal like this. And then draw another oval on top of that. And then draw your ears. And then a nose, mouth, some bunny whiskers, and eyes. And then fill in the ears. Okay, pretty easy, right? Now, just like in today's story when it went dark, we're going to do it blindfolded. Let's see how, how well we can do. Okay, I'm closing my eyes and I'm not cheating. Here we go. Okay. How am I doing, you guys? Oh, gosh. I'm not cheating, I promise. See? Okay, now I've got to find where to draw the ears. Now the eyes. Is that all? Do I have to, I have to fill in the ears, right? Okay. <laughs> I think I'm done. All right, let's have a look. Oh my! <laughs> That's a scary bunny. Okay, after you drew, do your drawing, we're gonna head to worship. I can't wait for you guys to worship with us today. Go ahead, grab your Bible, some open space, get some open space, do it right now. Stand up and let's get ready to worship. Love is an ocean, you can drown me The sweet embrace, the lovely taste, I taste the sea I'm under grace, the place to be It means I'll never need an umbrella I'm 
cool in the cold in the hot weather Whether or never I ever understand I'm a man in the hands of great plans I stand with faith and a life I never known to touch And still I stop my clutch but I'm like what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's the doubt for? Live to no end, this is living The life I've been given is a gift If I'm a living, I'm a living to death So what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's the doubt for? And live to no end, this is living The life I've been given is a gift If I'm a living, I'm a living to death Jesus came with his disciples to Gethsemane. He prayed to God, Father, if it is possible, take this suffering away from me, but only if it is part of your plan. While Jesus prayed, the disciples fell asleep. Jesus said, get up, it is almost time. Suddenly Jesus arrived with a large crowd, 
Judas kissed Jesus so the crowd would know who Jesus was. The crowd grabbed Jesus and arrested him. Peter tried to stop the men, but Jesus told Peter not to. Jesus' followers ran away, but Peter stayed nearby. Three times, people asked Peter if he was a follower of Jesus. No, I'm not, Peter said. Jesus was led to the high priest. The high priest asked, are you the Messiah, the Son of God? Jesus replied, yes, that's right. The high priest said, aha, he has spoken against God. He deserves to die. The religious leaders did not want to believe Jesus was God's son. When the morning came, the religious leaders led Jesus to Pilate, the governor. Are you the king of the Jews? Pilate asked. Yes, that's right, Jesus replied. What should I do with Jesus? Pilate asked the crowd. Crucify him, they answered. The governor's soldiers put a scarlet robe on Jesus. They made a crown of thorns and put it on his head. Then they mocked him, beat him, and led him away to be killed. The soldiers nailed Jesus to a cross. They put a sign above his head that said, this is Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Two criminals were crucified next to him. Darkness covered the land. Then Jesus cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus shouted again and with a loud voice, he died. Suddenly, the curtain in the temple sanctuary split in two from top to bottom, and there was an earthquake. One of the men guarding Jesus' body said, this man really was God's son. Jesus was buried in a tomb. A stone was sealed in front of the tomb so that no one could steal Jesus' body. On the third day, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to the tomb. Suddenly, there was an earthquake. An angel of the Lord rolled back the stone and sat on it. The guards were so afraid that they fainted. The angel spoke to the women, don't be afraid, Jesus is not here. He has been resurrected, just like he said he would. The women ran to tell the disciples the good news. Just then, Jesus met them. Good morning, he said. The women worshiped him. Don't be afraid, Jesus told them. Go tell my disciples to meet me in Galilee. They will see me there. The crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus is the center of the gospel. We deserve to die because of our sin, but Jesus died in our place. He was the blood sacrifice made once and for all for the forgiveness of sin. God was pleased with Jesus' sacrifice and raised Jesus from the dead to reign as king over all creation. We are forgiven only through Jesus. Hey everyone, we're back for the Bible Breakdown and today we get to talk about the best story ever told. So how many of you have that family member that is always telling stories about when you were younger? Or maybe you have a story that you absolutely love and that you've heard a million times but you never get tired of it. Well today that is this story. Maybe you've heard this story for the first time today, or maybe it's the hundredth time you've heard it. But every single one of you, no matter how many times you've heard this story, um, this story is for you. And I know that when we read the story and we hear the story of the crucifixion and the resurrection, that it can be hard to understand and hard to imagine. So here's the most important thing that I believe that God wants us to know is that Jesus went through everything, the cross being, um, being punished and being hung on a cross to die. He went through all of that for you. Yes, you. And we can now have a good relationship with our loving father because of Jesus' sacrifice. So 
Wherever you are today, I want you to just close your eyes, no matter how old you are or where you're at, just close your eyes. Close your eyes, okay. And I just want you to listen to these words in Romans 5, verses 6 through 11. For while we were still helpless, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. That's you and me. For rarely will someone die for a just person, though for a good person perhaps someone might even dare to die. But God proves His own love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. How much more then, since we have now been declared righteous by His blood, will we be saved through Him from wrath? For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of His Son, then how much more, having been reconciled, will we be saved by His life? That means His resurrection. And not only that, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received this reconciliation. That is the Word of God. And I hope that wherever you're at today and whatever you're doing, that you will know in your heart that Jesus is our hope and Jesus is our King and that He's alive and that you are dearly loved. And the cross proves that today. That's all we have for the Bible breakdown. I'm going to pray for us and then we will head to the craft corner. All right, close your eyes again. Father, thank you for uh, the story of the cross. And I just pray that everyone hearing this story today um, and everyone that is in the sound of my voice, will just you will just remind them of your goodness and your love. And you will remind them of the story of the cross today. And I pray, God, that we will never get tired of hearing this story because it reminds us of who we are and how much you love us. Um, thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you for loving us so well. In Jesus' name, amen. So before we get started, go ahead and grab a paper plate, some scissors, some black construction paper, or um, you can color a piece of white paper black, and a popsicle stick. And then I'm going to post the link to a download to print this Jesus that we're going to color and use for our craft. And then some markers and glue. Okay, pause the video, go grab your stuff. And let's get started. Okay, first of all, you're gonna take a paper plate and color it gray. So in today's story, after the crucifixion, we know that Jesus is buried in a tomb. And this is gonna be our tomb. So color it gray or the color of rock, whatever you wanna color it. Color it all over. I've already, I've already colored this one. And after you color it, you're going to cut the paper plate in half. So this is just going to be where Jesus is buried in our craft today. So after you cut that in half, set this aside and cut a circle out of some black paper. This is going to be the stone that is in front of the tomb that it talks about in our story today. So this is our stone. Don't glue it yet because we have a very important way to put it on here. So after you color Jesus with your markers, however you want to color it, we're going to take this and our popsicle stick and glue Jesus on our popsicle stick. I can't wait for you guys to see what happens after we finish this craft. So you're going to take Jesus and glue him to this popsicle stick. You just need a little strip of glue right down the middle, not the whole thing. Okay, there we go. So now set Jesus aside and grab your paper plate again and we're gonna make a little slit in our rock. This is gonna be where Jesus goes. So be careful doing this. So fold it a little bit and then just cut a straight line 
big enough so that your popsicle stick can fit just like that. So put, put your popsicle stick in the little slit and your, your guy should be able to go like this. And then after that, you're gonna take your stone, and this is very important, only put glue on the bottom and the side. Don't put it all the way, all the way around because that will mess it up if you put it all over. So just make a little line of glue like this, just a semicircle. And now you're going to put the stone over your Jesus popsicle stick. And after you let it dry for a little bit, we are going to have the tomb where Jesus was buried. But guess what? He didn't stay there. He rose again. <laughs> Just like in our story today, this is our Resurrection Jesus craft, and it's so fun. You can even use this to tell the story to your friends or your family members. Um, but remember that that is our hope and that Jesus didn't stay in the grave. He was resurrected, and that is our craft today. All right, bye, guys. Bye.